Hello there, I am Syed. This time, we will discuss important topic on the cross-culture understanding course. We will start with the concept on culture and language. This concept is important for students who would learn wider concept on culture. As you can see, the world has 17 ethnic groups in the world by the end of the 20th century. The distribution of each ethic is unique. In theory, Britta and Kernia stated that culture, ethnicity, nationality and language can be overlapping categories. Therefore, we need to use these terms carefully in order to avoid misunderstanding. In essence, Britta and Kernia also emphasize that we need to know that people often belong to more than one culture at the same time. It means that people have different roles in society, and within each role, there ought to be certain culture. By definition, Britta and Kernia stated that every country has its own culture, so does each ethnic group. In addition, any identifiable group in a society has its own culture. In other words, the definition of culture cannot be seen solely in a simple way. The term culture can be understood in this way. Culture is a way of life and understanding about life, complex, complete, organized, learned unconsciously, controlled by beliefs and values, meeting felt needs, and constantly changing for a group of people. This is the example of cultural diversity in the world. These pictures show the diversity of dance in the world. Can you name one? Where does that dance come from? In relation to intercultural communication, the concept is that this sort of communication exists between people who come from different nation, race, language, religion, education level, social status or even between sexes. As such, intercultural communication can be understood as simple as it seems. An interesting concept in the study of culture is about the interrelationship between communication and culture. According to Edward T. Hall, culture is communication, and communication is culture. To put simply, the way we communicate reflects the form of our culture. According to Mulyana and Jalaluddin, the way we communicate really depends on the culture that we live, especially it relates to language, norms, and our each other's rules. As the father of cultural anthropology, E.B. Taylor defined culture as complexities of knowledge, beliefs, arts, moral, law, customs, and abilities or habits that are derived by members of a certain society. The first characteristic of culture is that communication and language are connected. The connection is close, in a sense that without language, there would be no communication. The second characteristic of culture is clothes and appearance. Different culture always have different ways of wearing clothes. Certain appearance in one culture might not be translated well in another culture. Therefore, cross-culture understanding is essential in the world today. The purpose is to maintain a peaceful world. The third characteristic of culture is about foods and habit of eating. People in European continent, for example, have foods that have different ingredients and taste with people who live in Asian continent. The fourth characteristic of culture is related to time and being conscious of time. For example, people who live in certain areas of Mexico might not be as punctual as people who live in the North America. In Indonesia, people might see time as the important part of schedule of praying, especially for Muslims in the country. The fifth characteristic of culture is related to award and recognition. In the United States of America, for example, Michael Jackson is known as a famous singer. His name has been recognized as the king of pop. The next characteristic of culture is in the form of relationships. Family and friends are important for most people. However, in some countries, the process of work recruitment might involve closeness of family members, but that is not the case. In a more advanced country, work relationship is as important as any other type of relationship. Nevertheless, it should be seen as professional ties that have rights and obligations. The seventh characteristic of culture is about values and norms. Plagiarism is strictly forbidden in all university in the United States, for example. Calling someone for invalid purposes and for criminal action are indeed against the law. Meanwhile, in Indonesia, each community has a place called Pos Kamling. The purpose of this place is for security reasons. The eighth characteristic of culture is about the sense of self and space. Most people in the West are educated to love themselves, so they can avoid the feeling of sorrow. Bullying is also forbidden because it creates a deep sense of sadness for someone who is bullied. The mental process and learning process is the ninth characteristic of culture. It relates to education. One word in one culture, 
such as the word freedom, might be seen and interpreted differently in another culture. One word in Indonesian language can be misinterpreted in another language. We can take the word good, for example. What counts as good, and in what way? We need to context to understand it. The last characteristic of culture is connected to the notion of beliefs and attitude. Helping each other is essential for people. Arguing for something silly can be misinterpreted by some people who might not like to argue that much. In terms of attitude, we learn that the good attitude may end up in solving problems easily. On a global level, there are many religions in the world. What we need to do is to respect one another, so peaceful life can be gained. The conclusion is that language and culture are inseparable. Understanding and mastering a language, such as English as a foreign language in Indonesia, means that Indonesian students need to know and recognize how culture of the English people in using English as a language. From the 10 characteristics of culture, we can determine how and in what particular ways we could recognize the culture or way of life of the English-speaking people. If you need to read further sources that I used in this video, please read the references. Until then, thank you for listening. Have a good day.